Sit back, relax, and go to heaven with DD Squad. Fourteen more to go. You can see a bit of blue sky out there. You can see by the look on our faces that the climb is not so easy. It takes a lot of effort to get up this chimney and for us it was even more effort because we had to haul up a whole lot of equipment. So we're carrying a lot of safety equipment, safety gear, cameras, water and uh, of course chocolate bars. I think it's going good. I mean we're only one hour behind schedule so that's perfect. Only one hour? Yeah. yeah. The last bag is up on the top and this is one of six bags. It's about 100 kilos of equipment that we brought up and it took us hours but it was all so worth it man like on the way up seeing all the mist and the clouds from above sunrise saying hello to us in the morning once you come to the top and you take a look over the edge into the chimney scary man so to put things in perspective the height of the eiffel tower is 324 meters and the chimney interbole is 360 meters tall. It's time for morning yoga on 360 meters. Almost as high as Snoop Dogg, you know? But she doesn't do that. preparing for human flag. I'm gonna do it out of this cage. Uh, it's pretty sketchy because it's all wobbly and the edges of it are sharp as fuck. It's one of the best views. But you need a good heart. That was intense and painful at the same time. I did it. The scariest part for me, because I was securing everything, was the thought of someone falling and the uh, rope ripping. That was the scariest for me. Everything is super secure, but still there's a lot of sharp edges. And this is what makes me nervous. Who's the most afraid? I would say... I would have to say Gap is the most afraid, but he's, he's openly like, uh, accepting his fear of heights and uh, uh, distrust in equipment. And that's okay, you know, he's got plenty of balls on every other area. So the, the last part is for me and Yanni to repel down the chimney, which is gonna be quite scary and quite a lot of fun.
days of hard work. Whew, Brian.